The wow word for today is evangelism. What is evangelism? Evangelism is telling and showing other people about Jesus Christ and God's message of reconciliation for them. Down through history, the church has made two fundamental mistakes when it comes to evangelism. Firstly, evangelism is not forcing people to adopt church standards. And nor is it simply a message of join the church as a symbol of good works. Two fundamental errors made by the church down through history. Evangelism, you won't be surprised, has a message. God has a message for all people. God says that everybody has sinned against him, that nobody can earn their reconciliation with him, and that God himself sent his own son Jesus Christ so that salvation could be had by all people of all time, and that it is only by acquiescing to God, by faith in Jesus Christ alone, that people are saved. That is the message of evangelism. Evangelism is also lifestyle. Jesus Christ is to permeate every area of your life. You are a messenger of Jesus Christ and a message from Jesus Christ whether you want to be or not if you are a Christian. The way you conduct yourself both in public and in private shows Jesus Christ to people. But why tell other people? Prime motivation for evangelism stems from gratitude for what God has done for you. In that you love God because he loved you first. It was this sentiment Paul refers to when he writes, For Christ's love compels us, because we are convinced that one died for all, and therefore all died. When you tell others about Jesus, you reflect something of the character of God, because God himself is a missionary God, an evangelizing God. Jesus was sent to save the lost, and redeem mankind. The Holy Spirit was sent from the Father and the Son. You do it. God does not use angels to do the work of telling this message. He uses ordinary people like you and I to tell other people this extraordinary message of peace. And while you may not be called explicitly to be an evangelist, you are called to do the work of an evangelist. So go. In Jesus' last words on earth, his church was commanded to be witnesses for him. You are a member of that church if you are a Christian. And as a part of the church, you are included in the way God has chosen to spread his message of reconciliation and peace. So remember, these words from Paul in Romans chapter 10. How then can they call on the one they have not believed in? And how can they believe in the one of whom they have not heard? And how can they hear without someone preaching to them? And how can they preach unless they are sent? As it is written, How beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news! So let us go from here. Let's go to be beautiful to somebody else by telling them of God's message of peace and love. How's that for a wow word?